In the example we just developed, we assumed that individuals were willing to trade at a rate of one to one. That is to say, Amanda and Zoe were each willing to exchange one unit of vegetable for one unit of fish. The terminology we use to describe this trade is to say that the terms of trade were one, two, one. They were willing to exchange one unit of vegetable for one unit of fish. And when that happened, they were both able to gain as a result of the specialization. Well, how do we get to this exchange rate of one to one? Is this the only exchange rate or the only set of terms of trade that would enable these two individuals to benefit? Well, to justify the choice of an exchange rate of one to one, let's just look at the production efficiencies of each of the two individuals in the example here. When Amanda produces vegetables, she allocates all of her time to the production of vegetables and can produce 18 units. Or she could allocate all of her time to the production of fish and produce 12 units. What this tells us is that if Amanda were to reduce the time she allocates to the production of vegetables and take that time and reallocate it to the production of fish, she would reduce her vegetable consumption by three units for every two units of fish that she would be able to produce as a consequence. So for Amanda, her transformation rate, another new term, her transformation rate is three to two. She can reduce the amount of time allocated to vegetables in such a way as vegetable production is reduced by three units. And if she takes that time and allocates it to fish, she will be able to produce two units of fish. And I have forgotten the letter E on transformation right here. What about Zoe? Zoe, if she specializes in fish, and decides that she might as an alternative use some of her hours for the production of vegetables. If she reduces her production of fish here and takes the time that she saves and allocates that time to the production of vegetables, she will be able to produce one unit of vegetable for every two units of fish. So her transformation rate, so Zoe's transformation rate, is going to be one to two. So they can each transform vegetables into fish at a different rate. And really, this is just another way of saying that they have different specialization efficiencies. Now imagine the following scenario. Amanda has decided to specialize in vegetable and she is going to trade with Zoe. She knows that if she does not trade with Zoe and she wants to get more fish by giving up vegetables, that she has to give up three units of vegetable to get two units of fish or if you like, for every one unit of vegetable, she only gets two thirds of a unit of fish in return. So if she could exchange at a rate of two units of vegetables for two units of fish, Amanda would be much better off. Rather than having to give up three units of vegetables to get two units of fish, if she only had to give up two units of vegetables to get two units of fish, she would be better off. Or, 
Another way of saying the same thing is to say if you gave up three units of vegetables, then at an exchange rate of two to two, which is to say one to one, she would be able to get three units of fish in return. So an exchange rate of two to two or one to one is beneficial for Amanda. Would this exchange rate be beneficial for Zoe at the same time? Well, at the present time, without specialization, Zoe has to, Zoe only gets uh, one unit of vegetable for every two units of fish that she gives up. So if she were instead able to get two units of vegetables for every two units of fish that she sacrifices, she would be better off than the current situation. So an exchange rate of two to two would benefit both of these individuals. So this is why we took the exchange rate that we took in the previous example, when we said that they were willing to trade at a rate of one to one, which is the same thing as saying they're willing to trade at a rate of two to two, there is a potential for each of them to benefit. We're not arguing that this is the only possible terms of trade, the only possible rate at which they might trade and find trade beneficial. But it does give a justification for why we chose the terms of trade of one to one. Each of them can benefit at this rate.